G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, in that last video I did, I reviewed this Seymour mini lathe and I was pretty impressed. In fact, I was mightily impressed by it. It's a beautifully made little thing and just, yeah, it's such a handy size and, yeah, affordable. I couldn't fault it. It was that good. But there's one thing about this uh, size lathe, the 7 by 12s that, I see in forums occasionally where people bring up and they say there's no carriage lock. How do you lock the carriage? You know, like every good lathe's got a carriage lock, well you think so. And the standard carriage lock is a, a pull up block that pulls up under the ways and there's just nothing here, nothing at all. How do you, how do you lock the carriage? And on forums I've seen these guys saying, oh yes, they've designed carriage locks and this is how you do it, and they've drilled holes and tapped threads, and they've got pushed down bolts and made up brackets and all this stuff. And I thought, well, I'm sure there must be something here. I mean, I, I'm still learning about this lathe. I don't know a lot about it, but I thought, sure, there's, there's provision for a carriage lock here somewhere. And there is. There actually is. All this hoo ha that people are going on about is totally off the mark. If they'd looked and thought about it, there's an obvious answer, and I'll show you what it is. Now on the back here we have a speed change lever which has got nothing to do with the carriage lock, but we do have a three position rever uh, reverse tumbler lever. So you can go reverse midway position, which is neutral, so you disconnect the, the lead screw, and then you've got um, feet towards the chuck, so you, know, you can go up there, feet towards the chuck, or put it in the middle position and disconnect the lead screw. And uh, is that right? No, I'm not in it. Okay, I'm in it now. There it is, mid position. Well, basically, that's half of your, that's half of your carriage lock. And I'll show you the rest. Now, with the lead screw disconnected with that lever, you can then position the carriage anywhere you want because this is not driven, remember. The lathe's going, but this won't be driven. And you just engage your half nuts, and guess what? Guess what, folks? The carriage is totally locked. I mean, how simple and obvious is that? But obviously a lot of people out there haven't thought about it to any degree, and they've gone off on this tangent and made up all sorts of fancy devices and trickery to try and make a carriage lock. But you've got one. It's there. Does it work? Well, I'll show you. Of course it works. So we shut the, the cover, press the green button, she lights up, we're all ready to go. Fire it up. The lead screw is not revolving. We'll put on our fancy little light. How's that grab your folks? Bring up the carriage till it comes up close to it. Lock the half nuts. The carriage is now fixed. Bring it back. Wind in the top slide. So that's it folks, that's your carriage lock. It's there. It's always been there. It's just that a lot of people just have never really looked and thought about what features are on this lathe, you know. Why would you have a neutral position on a lead screw? Well, here's the obvious answer, you know. Just think about it. It works perfectly. So there you go, that's how you do it. It's probably not in the user manual, but then again, 
there's a lot of stuff that's probably not in the user manual. <laughs> the ones I've seen are pretty basic. And uh, anyway, that's the heads up on that. So no modifications required. It's, uh, it's all there for you. Just think about it. Okay, hope that helped you. See you next time. Cheers.